well, so far I'm not really big fan of Pandemic. Uh, but I guess it's good for some things. The Arts Alcove features writers, musicians, painters, photographers, actors, and many more. Once upon a time, there was a child who every day would go to the museum over summer because both of his parents worked. That was his school. That was his home. That was his place where he saw wonderful art pieces from Van Gogh, from Picasso, from all these wonderful painters. But one day he realized there's no paintings from the city he lives in. There are no artists in the city he lives in. So he decided maybe he's not meant to be an artist. Maybe like everyone else, he'll get a job, work nine to five and just be happy. Until one day when he went to the museum, there is a woman painting. She had a giant crowd around her. He thought to himself, that's interesting. I've never seen a painter in my area. So he walked up and he started watching her paint and she was so smooth, so clean. And he thought to himself, wow, she looks, her art looks like the art I see on these walls. So once she was done, he started talking to her. And he asked her, where are you from? Assuming she's from Italy, from France, somewhere with so much culture, there's no way she's from where he's from. Well, when she said where she's from, he realized she lives three blocks away from him. So that night full of inspiration, he went home and he started to paint. But he realized he's not that good of a painter. But now he has someone to go to. He has someone to talk to, someone to ask these questions to. So the next day, instead of going to the museum, he knocks on her door and says, hi, I want to learn how to paint. So every day he would return there and they would paint together until finally one of his paintings made it into that museum. The reason I tell this story is because that is the importance of the arts alcove. This podcast shows the artist as a human, as a person, as someone relatable, so that the people watching can feel that they can do the same. And isn't that our goal in life? To have more art, to have more beings create, to have more people love the world they live in. So yes, the Arts Alcove is a podcast where we talk to wonderful artists, photographers, musicians, people who made a living off their mind and off their creation. But there's a bigger side to it. And that side is that this is also a way for the children, for the people listening to be inspired, to finally have a muse, to finally be able to feel for themselves that they can do it because there is someone in their neighborhood who's done it. There is someone in their city who has done it. So yes, the Arts Alcove is a podcast and we cannot see the artist's face, but the words will move us and teach us so that the next generation, there will be more artists and there'll be more people creating. At the end of the day, all stories are meant to have a meaning, are meant to be told. And this story, the podcast, what we are trying, the stories we are trying to tell, the purpose is to inspire the next generation, to inspire those kids in school, to inspire the people around us who have the artistic ability but have never thought they could do it. That's why this podcast is so wonderful is because it has two sides to it. The first side, it helps artists in a time of COVID to get their work out there and to be shown to the world. But it also allows the kids and the next generation to listen to these artists speak so that they themselves, the people listening, can feel that they can do just the same thing, that they can create because that person created. That's a wonderful thing.